So, good evening once again, or you can say good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. In the last class, I have taught you how we can implement Android tab layout. I told you what is Android tab layout. And now we have another topic where we have some additional widget uh, which we need to implement with tab layout. So the topic is Android tab layout with frame layout. First of all, we're gonna go through the definition or you can say the basic overview, okay? So as I've told you, Android tab layout is going to help you to uh, create an application and you know implement tabs in that, right? Suppose that uh, if you take an example of WhatsApp, you will have WhatsApp, you will have uh, like chats tab over there, okay? You will have contacts tab over there, you will have calls tab over there. So how do we add these tabs in an application? We have to learn it and also we will go through frame layout, how we can add or implement tab layout with or tab layout with frame layout. So in the previous particular, Example, we created a sliding tabs using tab layout and view pager. Uh, we can go and create non-sliding tabs using tab layout and now it will, it's a definition. So if you wanted to have a definition control five, so control five, so we can say we are going to create a non sliding tabs using tab layout and frame layout. All right, and items of tab layout are implemented by adding tab item, which I did in the last clause also, Android support design widget. That's it, so let's create an example of tab layout. So project to implement tab layout with frame layout. Let's go and try to create it. We have the Android Studio open here. First of all, I'm going to create a new project and I will name it as, you can say, social media. Or you can say, online classes. And then finish it. Are you here? Lubna and Michael. Lubna, would you yes. please call, how are you doing? Where was you in the previous um, class? Uh, I was uh, outside. Oh, so you know that we are having the classes on time. Yeah, I forget. Seven, so you need to 
attend the classes regularly yeah yeah i know so so that you can pass the exams it's better for you okay yeah yeah okay so uh, where is hadi would you please call both of them and ask them to attend the class uh, okay all right please Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we have the activity file here, activity XML file here. I'm going to delete this particular uh, text view. We have to add the tab layout. We'll go to design view. Under the layouts, we have tab layout here. We will add it. So we'll just drag and drop it here in it. And then we'll just go to code and we'll have Tab layout, why it didn't add? No, no, not table layout, control Z. Tab layout. Where is it? Under containers. Yes, tab layout is here. Under containers, first of all, you have to go to design view. You need to click on that. Then under the con containers, or you can say containers, we have toolbar and we have tab layout you just drag and drop it it's going to tell you this operation requires the library com google dot android material plus would you like to add this now yes you have to wait for some time it will show you it will display you the details so it's adding the components it's just a library which it's adding before we use this tab layout now you can see online classes downloading these you know libraries and configure successful in six seconds. We are done. We have it here. We'll minimize it for now, and we don't need to add anything in a graphical way here. So we added it. This is enough. Then go to code. You can see our table tab layout here. It's com Google Android budget tab layout. And now you can see Android width is this. You can say height is wrap content. Editor is absolute x IDP, and then a lot of things are there so we have not aided so we need, just need to modify it because we have to create a lot of things over here so we will modify it by adding android id at the right plus id and we'll say that it's tab layout layout are you able to see it mm -hmm. cool. yeah okay so then here height should be our width should be match parent and it should be wrap content height and then layout editor absolute x is one p layout editor exclude we don't need these properties we wanted to delete them so these are tools uh, what we want is we want to add the attribute background color so background will say color um, hashtag seven three six seven that's it that's about tab layout and then as you know these are the tab items so com dot google dot android dot material dot tabs dot tab item so tab item wrap content wrap content so we will have home here on monday we'll say it's home button okay it's the uh, it's about online classes right we'll say secondly courses and then we'll say registration On third one. What happened here? Why it's giving error? Oh. So suppose that 
this is tab layout you can add more than three but for now i just want to add only three tab items for example home courses and registration for the courses that's it it's under the tab layout and if we go to design view it's on the top okay that was the reason why i changed it you can see now home courses and registration is there so next thing is now adding the frame layout in the same file so we will just add the frame layout by simply typing frame layout like we were adding other widgets there so frame layout uh, width is match parent and height is going to be 455 dp okay and then before that we have to add the Android ID and it's going to be frame layout. And Android height is 45 dp, then app. And app is going to be app layout, constraint, constraint. It's end to end off, so end to end off here, and it's going to be parent. Then again, app layout on a strength start to start off, which is again parent, and then at last, app layout on a strength top to bottom off top to bottom off so constant top to bottom off which is this one and it's going to be at the rate id the tab layout it will help you to link over there that's it that's frame layout and we are done with this file which is activity xml okay so first of all we added tab layout we added the items in it you can add more than that but for now i'm just adding only home courses and registration and then you can now add frame layout when you go to design you will see the frame here okay we'll go to code now and next thing is now Give the dependent build gradle why can we add it? dependency library dependencies com dot android dot support design twenty six point one point zero that's com dot android dot support it's 26.1.0 or you can use any latest version but for now I'm going to use 26 point 
you just need to add this dependency library of table tab layout in build gradle so that it can support us so how do you add it simply i'm going to copy it i'm repeating this step i will just open control alt shift this and it will give me the dependent modules dependencies and build variants when you go to build dependencies you will add library dependency and you have to type in com dot android support design 26 or one and then search for it it's going to give you a lot of versions it's up to you which one you want i want to use 26.10 this implement it's helping you to implement it and okay that's it and apply and okay that's it we have aided it class path com and write tools and rest of the things are aided I will now close it and now go to main activity Java. Now over here, what we need to do, we have to create the variables using the buttons or widgets that we have used. So tab layout variable, I'm gonna create a layout called tab layout using then I added frame layout. So frame layout, I will add a variable called frame layout. Okay. And then fragment. So fragment, I'm going to add a fragment as a variable fragment. Uh, I'm going to put it equal to null. That's it. And then again, fragment manager will be there. So it's down there. Fragment manager. I'm going to add a fragment manager there. All right. And then fragment transaction. Fragment transaction. So fragment transaction. And the variable name will be fragment transaction T. And at the rate override, then these are. The methods that are already created there on create is a method which is by default there and activity main is the main file which is already called set content view or layout activity main so i'm going to use tab layout to store the layout over there the tab layout that we have it in activity main so tab layout again so tab layout find view by id and it'll say r dot id dot what is the name of the layout i added tab layout there not t it's small d so tab layout is the id which is added in tab layout of xml file then semicolon and next is frame layout which i have defined the variable and i'm going to put it equal to frame layout so frame layout which is this and find view by id inside it r dot oh not two r dot id it's gonna be frame layout that's it so this is this thing and then i defined fragment as a variable i will create an object is equal to new fragment no new home fragment then fragment manager using it i will define it equal to get support fragment manager and fragment sorry the last one which is probably fragment transaction and it's going to be equal to fragment manager dot begin transaction that's it here i am a bit confused fragment new home fragment Then after that, oh, 
the begin transaction i'm going to use fragment transaction dot replace r dot id dot frame layout with fragment that's it then after that fragment transaction dot set transition set transition we have set the transition as fragment transition or transaction dot transit fragment open it's here transit fragment open semicolon here and then we'll say at loss fragment transaction dot comment this one first method oh, sorry comment that's it and after that we're going to use tab layout dot add on tab selected listener on tab selected listener then new the way we did in all of us new tab layout no new tab layout dot on click selected on click on tab oh on tab selected listener new tab view pager or on tab selected listener this one that's it next what we need to do is we have to add all the URI methods, public, wide, on, tab, selected, tab, layout, dot, tab, dot, tab. So first is talking about the fragment. We have to mention the fragment. So just fragment when it's called to called null. So we can say using the switch now, I'm gonna use switch, then tab, mm -hmm, dot, get position. K zero we can say semicolon fragment equals to new home fragment. Then break. Then after that, case first, or you can say first. home fragment and then next is what we did mm, courses fragment okay these are basically the classes which we need to create home fragment is there Then break it. Is three. Not three. It's two. Is two fragment equals to new, and it is just what is the another fragment registration. Fragment. These are the classes that we need to create. 
and break. That's it. If you want to add more, suppose you have to add more than three particular tabs in the tab layout, then you will create another fragment, which is fragment is another case like case three and case four or so on. Okay, that's the thing that you need to do if you want to move on with more things. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use fragment manager and I'll say, I will define a variable FM and it say get support fragment manager another time. So fragment transaction, sorry, it's fragment transaction. Then I will create FT as a variable or object. I'll say FM dot begin transaction for that. And then I can say FT, which is fragment transaction replace um, r.id sorry r should be capital r.id dot frame layout and it should replace it with fragment or fragment then ft dot set transition set transition fragment transaction set transition fragment transaction F R A G it's fragment transaction here dot transit again transit fragment open the first one and you can say semicolon and at last F T dot commit try to do it we are committed to it that's it I will come out it's on tab on tab selected what you want to do or we are not going to do anything here and then we are not going to do anything here for now that's it that's about this file now create now we have to create different fragment files for all different tabs so as we have created home fragment course fragment and registration so we need to create three different files three different classes for them where we can you know uh, store the information or where we can just uh, display the information that we want to show or display in all these fragments or, or in all these tabs so first is first file is home fragment so what we are going to do is simply i'm going to but well, there's an error showing just because of the fragments yeah so what I'm gonna do is I will go to right click on com example online classes main activity right click on it new Java class and I'm gonna name it as home it should be with the same name like I have mentioned in the fragment so home fragment that's home fragment dot Java another particular file we have to create Home trial home fragment for Java, and you have to even create a file for XML also here. That should be new XML layout file, and it has to be frame layout. So we'll say uh, the name of it should be fragment home. So fragment. home dot xml and here we should say root drag is frame layout so frame layout will be the root track so it's f r a m e l a u o t finish it you will get version here that's xml java and that's uh, that's home fragment dot java file and this is fragment home dot xml okay now we will work with both of them. Basically, we are now creating or inserting the information in this home fragment here. Okay. Home fragment. What's why it's giving the error? Fragment, fragment, fragment. Let's see. So 
So first of all, what we have to do, we have to type here public class home fragment extenders fragment class. Okay, that's it. And now, obviously, and at the same time, it will remove the error. We going to add a method here public home sorry home fragment this is the method which we need to add and we required empty public constructor it's a constructor constructor okay and after that i will say override at the rate or right yep we'll say public we have 10 more minutes but we will not be able to do it uh, in the 10 minutes so we'll just start it again after some time on create on create view layout inflator We'll say inflate as a, as an object name and then view group the library and we'll say container comma then bundle and we can say save it instance in that bundle so save it instance state is there and then we'll create so we'll say inflate layout for this fragment for this frag f r a g m e n t so they return inflator dot inflate let's say r dot layout dot fragment home is the xml file fragment home and then container and then we'll say it's false. That's it. Semicolon. Halas with this file. And now as we have aided, it has to return the file fragment home, which is this file. Now we have to add the code here that you want to display. It's up to you what you want to display. For example, it's home. So you can add the welcome to, you know, online classes so we are providing these courses and so on whatever you want for now what i'm going to do is i will just say here this is the beginning of your application i will say here this is to do update Date blank fragment. So fragment has been created, mentioned, but you just need to update that. So here, simply I will just add one text view and I will say match parent here and I will say match parent here. And then I will say Android gravity and a uh, not layout gravity, it is just gravity. Android gravity, first one, and then I will say the center. And then I will just say Android text. I'm not adding any ID here. Later on, we can do that. So Android text, and it is at the rate, for example, string, or you can simply define it. If you want to define it in the string, so string, for example, home, Fragment is the text name over there, or you can simply define it here. If you want, simply welcome to the online classes application. That's it, and that's it. We do not have error with this now as we have added home fragment, we have added Java file for it and we have also added the fragment home XML for it and you can check it out now. We do not have error. Now we have error for this because 
we have not added this file. Now next thing is we have to add this file which is courses fragment. So I'll again go over here and new Java class and I will name it as what? The name should be same courses fragment. So we'll say courses F R A G. It has to be same otherwise it will display an error. So courses fragment class courses fragment dot Java. Okay, so then double click on it, it will create it. And at the same time, you need to create fragment Java file also. So go to layout, right click here, new XML layout, and I'm gonna name it as F-R-A-G-M-E-N-T fragment space Java. And it should be having the layout as frame layout. Frame layout should be there. So fragment Java frame layout. Okay. So fragment Java is the file name and this is the root tag that we have. We would like to have in our uh, XML file. So fragment Java, make sure that you're having the correct words or letters there. So finish it. We will have another layout, but now we are done with home fragment. I will, I'm going to close it. We are done with the, fragment home also we don't need them now we need sorry 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 so we can rename it mm -hmm. it's not fragment it's i'm gonna delete it delete it add new layout it's fragment courses we have two tabs, so fragment courses it is. We can never use capital letter here to rename or name a layout file and it's frame layout. That's it. So we have courses fragment file and fragment courses. So in the courses fragment, what we have to do now, we have to extend it in the same way. So extend this fragment. All right, that's first thing. So public class, fragment, and in it, we have to add the constructor public, we can say courses, fragment. And then it's an empty, required empty constructor constructor all right and then we'll say we'll come out from it and we'll write the method or write public view and we can say on create view layout inflator and I will name it as inflator comma view group and it's a container view group container comma bundle same thing we have to add here so in every particular file we have to use the same thing save it instance only we need to call the different files so save it instance state okay and then here i'm going to use return inflator dot inflate and i will say r dot layout dot fragment courses not home because home is for home and here we are using courses so courses fragment comma container comma false that's it colors with this and now go to fragment here again i am going to just open fragment home i am going to copy this one again and courses but right now we'll say it's courses so we are having hundreds 
of courses. Please call us on plus or just four 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 three six zero zero. That's it. And then Pregman Java and then the last one which you can see now this error is gone also and the last one is now registration fragment so we are going to create a Java file right click here Java new class and name it as registration fragment class done and the same time we're going to create here a new XML layout file and I'm going to name it as um, fragment it's what 